Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Strength. I am Nicole, using my laptop again. Hopefully this still works. Um, oh, yes, I got one eyeball popped up. That's good. All right, you guys, good morning. Hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. Uh, welcome to Strength. Good morning, Kathy. Thanks for joining me. So this morning, you will just need your weights, um, whatever you've been using this uh, so far. Probably a light set and a heavier set if you have that available or whatever you've been using. Uh, this morning, I'm going to use a chair, but if you have a bench, um, if you don't have either one of those, you can do everything on the floor or um, I'll show you a modification for that. So um, grab your weights, towel, water bottle and we will get going. Make sure you start your watch. All right, let's get warmed up. Let's start with some marches. All right, good job you guys. So glad you could join me this morning. Just getting nice and warm, loosening up. And let's grab those hip flexor, little hip opener stretch. Nice, bring that knee up and over. Just opening up that hip, add that little shuffle. Four more. Three. Two. And one right there. Let's go ahead and um, grab a couple squats in there. Good job, down and up. Make sure that weight is in your heels. Pushing those heels into the floor. <sighs> Squeezing everything at the top. Good job, you guys. Good work, good work. Keep going. We're just warming up. If you're just joining me, hi Bonnie. Good morning. Good work. Just getting some squats in. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to add a little lunge. So we're going to lunge front, come back, squat down and then switch sides. All right, remember throughout the workout, go at your pace, listen to your body. Something doesn't work and you need to do something different, go for it. A couple more on each side. Just wanna get nice and warmed up. Last set. All right there, good job you guys. Shake those legs out. Just grab a little stretch. Just an active stretch so we're not gonna hold it too long. We wanna keep moving. Oops. One more. And let's circle those arms, warm up that upper body a little bit. Good morning, hey sister. Good job, you guys. And reverse. Just those little arm circles that are killers. And reverse, turn those hands down, make it a little bigger. Squeeze those shoulder blades together as those arms come back. Want to warm up those shoulders, that back, chest, and reverse. Four, three, two, and one. All right. So remember, we're going to use a chair today. So if you don't have that, grab a chair or some kind of bench. We'll use that in a little bit. Uh, but to start with, we're going to start with our um, squats and hammer curls. So we're going to be combining a lot of exercises today. 
So those weights might be not as heavy as you normally would grab for just your legs. Um, but if you have something heavier and you can only do so many hammer curls, awesome. Keep going with the legs, rest the arms. All right, so we've just got a squat. And it sounds like a motorcycle gang's coming through. <laughs> We're gonna take it down and then hammer curl up. Squat down and curl up. Squat down, so weights in my heels, push those heels into the floor, squeeze those glutes, and then got that nice hammer curl. Try not to swing those weights. Just think about those biceps right there. Biceps, biceps, biceps. Biceps, slow down. There we go. And breathe. Good job, you guys. So we're just combining two moves. We've got our squats and bicep curls all in one. Big calorie burn. So when you don't have a whole lot of time, uh, to do an exercise program. I always try to do a lot of combo moves like this so I can get the most bang for my buck here. <sighs> hit all the muscle groups, get a high calorie burn. <sighs> Good job. All right, let's do about eight more. We've got eight. Keep going, keep going. Do six more. I heard my watch ding, and sometimes I'm worried somebody's texting to say I can't see you or hear you or something. So, but it's all good. Four, three, two, push those heels into the floor. One more right there good job all right let's put one foot in front we're going to just do a stationary lunge and a shoulder press so opposite of the foot that's in front you're going to do a shoulder press so we're going to take it down and press down and press try to just kiss the floor with that back knee remember you're on a railroad track not a balance beam so that front knee should stay right over that ankle. Push that heel into the floor. Gauging those quads, glutes. Abs are pulled in. Good work. Let's do four more. Four. one right there switch legs other leg is out in front opposite arm is going to be the one doing the shoulder press and take it down and press down press good work you guys push that heel into the floor make sure you're breathing inhale down exhale up Nice work. Go at your pace. You might be a little faster. You might be a little slower. If your arm gets tired, you're right here. Good job, you guys. Find your challenge. A couple more. Let's do four, three, two, and one right there set those weights down just for a little bit shake those arms and legs out we're going to just do a little standing crunch while we're letting that rest good right here so just trying to get that squeeze and that oblique barely tapping that toe or even hovering it 
if you want to work on a little stability, right? Working on balance on that standing leg. Really think about squeezing that oblique, getting that nice strong crunch. Eight, seven, six, five, belly button's pulled in, four, three, two, and one. Right there, good job. All right, Ooh, heart rate is going this morning. Okay, so other side. Reach and then pull, reach, pull. So you get that little stretch and then crunch it together. Use your breath, exhale, help engage those abs and obliques. If you wanna work that stability, try to just hover that toe. Good work, you guys. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, come on, and one, right there, good job, shake it out, I need my sweat towel, all right, so we're going to go one more set of those squats and hammer curls, <clears throat> we grab a quick drink, All right. Whew, here we go. So, feet are about hip width apart. We're gonna take it down, weights in those heels, push those heels into the floor, and then we're gonna add that hammer curl at the top. Think about that nice line from the top of your head all the way to your tailbone, and breathe. work you guys so some of you might have cycled before this with Mike at 8 30 so you're nice and warm too I did a little Shanti workout 30 minute workout so I think I'm still sweating from that good work Nice. Press those heels into the floor. Abs are in. Squeeze those quads. Squeeze those glutes. Nice and tall at the top. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Three more. Three, two, and one. Hold those weights down to your side. Eight single squats. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep that chest lifted. Two, and one. I may have skipped three. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're got that lunge with the shoulder press. So the arm that's going up is opposite of the foot that's in front. We're gonna take it down and press. Down and press. Good work. Chest stays lifted, strong upper body. If your shoulder feels toasted, you're right here. You just got that lunge going. If your legs feel toasted, you just take a break and then join back in. Keep breathing. You guys are doing awesome. Come on. You'll feel so good when you're all done. All right. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Here we go. Four. Three, two, last one, stay on that leg. 
Eight single lunges. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! I don't think I skipped one on that one, but who knows? All right. Here we go. Other side. Starting with that lunge, shoulder press. Here we go. Down and up. Nice strong core. Abs are in. Good work. Nice job, you guys. Keep breathing. Remember, if your arm's tired, you're right here. Whew, I'm sweating. All right. Eight, seven, six, five, four. You got this three, two, one. Hold that weight down. Eight singles. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! Shake it out, you guys. Good work. Shake those legs out. If you need a little stretch, grab a little stretch. <sighs> grab a drink. We're going to be moving on. All right. So you're going to grab your chair. We're going to use this for a couple things. If you don't have a chair, but you have a bench, you could do this on the bench. Um, I'm just always trying to think of stuff that people have at home. Um, so if you have your bench, you could definitely do this on the bench. If you don't have either, you can do this on the floor. So I have done this one before. We're going to try it again. So what we're going to do is a basically like an inclined chest press. So you're going to want to sit way on the edge of your chair as far as you can. And then you're going to be really strong in the core, so you're getting that little ab workout too. And then from here, you're going to press straight up. So you're at this slight incline, so you're going to get a little bit of that upper chest and some shoulder combo going. And if you're trying this chair and you're like, oh, this just isn't working, um, it's too hard to keep this incline, then I would just go to the floor and do your chest flies or chest press or push-ups. You can do those too, okay? So we're gonna be right here. So this is straight up. I'm going to lean back just a little bit. You could even use your chair as a little bit of support if you need to. So I'm just at a little bit of an angle, pressing up. Abs are in. Keep going. So at that little bit of an angle, it's really challenging. Get a lot of that upper chest and shoulders. I'm gonna shoot for eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! Keep going if it's not challenging yet. If you still have a few more in there, keep going, keep going. Okay, do it till you're tired. All right, that felt very challenging for me. So um, if you're done with that one, then we're gonna stay right there with that chair and we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do a um, reverse fly. So for our back and a tricep kickback. Um, I actually might lighten my load just a little bit. 
So if you have something lighter on this one, you probably will want to switch it out. So I'm going to have one hand on my chair for support, and my reverse fly is going out to the side. Then I'm going to come here, elbow comes up, kick back, come down, reverse fly, back here, elbow up, kick back. So my head is going to stay in a neutral position, I'm just looking out in front of my hand, kick back, squeeze that tricep. On that reverse fly, try to keep your shoulders level so I'm not rotating my whole body. I'm just bringing that up to about shoulder height if you can, squeezing that shoulder blade. All right, keep going. Reverse fly, elbow comes up, kick back, really isolate that tricep, come down, reverse fly, squeeze that shoulder blade. Breathe. Pull that belly button in. Good work, you guys. Four more. Three. Good work. Two. And it's kind of a weird angle. I'm trying to get where you guys can see that. One. Right there. Good job. Shake that arm out. All right, we're going to do the other side. I'm just going to go like this so that you can see me a little bit better with that angle. So back is flat, knees are soft. And we've got that reverse fly. Come down, bring that elbow up, then add your kick back. Come down, reverse fly, squeeze that shoulder blade. Elbow up, kick back. Good, and you just wanna look out in front of that hand so that you keep that neck in a neutral position. Pull those abs in. Good. Kick back. Keep that neck long. Squeezing that shoulder blade. Whew. Good job, you guys. Come on. All right, we're going to do four more. Four. Three. All right, we got two more, you guys. Two. And last one. Right there. Nice. Good work. All right. So if those didn't challenge you, you may need to go a little heavier next time. Um, if they were too challenging and you felt like you couldn't get the right range of motion, then I would go even lighter um, and work up to that. All right, so we're going to wrap it up from the top, starting with that incline chest press. So remember, you're going to be inclined. If you're able to hold that, abs are in, and then you're right here, right? So you're working that upper chest. If you need to, you can kind of get a little support on that chair, depending on the height. And if it's not working at all for you, then go down to the floor and just do um, chest flies or press or push-ups. All right, I'm sweating, sweating, sweating. Remember, we did those shoulders at the beginning with that shoulder press, so you might feel this a little bit sooner. All right, so abs are in, nice and tight in that core, and then press it up to the ceiling. you guys. Come on, keep going. If you need a break, take a little break and then join back in. We'll get about eight more. 
All right, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ah, one. Woohoohoo! Good work. All right, set those weights down. We're going to go into our reverse fly, tricep kickback. All right, so you're using that um, chair for support or bench. If you don't have either, I, you could be right here on your leg. That's going to work just as well. So you've got that fly, elbow up, kick back elbow down. Reverse fly, elbow up, kick back. So two separate moves. So really think about what you're doing. Abs are in, keep that back flat. Squeeze that shoulder blade on that reverse fly. Then squeeze that tricep on that kick back. Good work, you guys. Nice job. Woo. Two separate moves. Reverse fly, squeeze that shoulder blade, elbow up, kick back. Four more sets. Four. Three. Two. Good work. One more. And last one right there. You. My little stretch there. All right. I'm going to turn my chair around and you can always go on the other side, whatever works for you. All right, so got that other side. One more round of these. So you get your reverse fly and then elbow up, then get your kick back. Keep that elbow up, come down, reverse fly, elbow up, kick back, two separate moves. So really think about what you're trying to do. Good. Reverse fly. Working that mid back. Kick back. Working that tricep. Neck stays long. Shoulders are down. Good work, you guys. Keep those abs in. Remember, if you didn't have that chair, you're right here. You just support. work. Keep breathing. Right? As we get tired, we start to lose that form. So that's always an indicator that you might have hit your fatigue. And that's a good thing. All right. Going to shoot for four more. Four. Three. Good work. Last one, you guys. Come on, right here. Last one. Woo. Right there. Nice job. Ow. All right. Grab a sweat towel, grab a drink, and we will be moving on. All right. We're going to throw in one more set for our back and our triceps. So what we're going to do is a one arm lawnmower row. We'll do one on each side, one set. So this is the one where we get that kind of side lunge and then we pull it right here. So we're going to do one set on each side and then we're going to do some dips to finish off. 
All right, one set on each side. So challenge yourself. If you've got that side lunge, you're gonna reach here. I like to support my back here with my hand. And then we're gonna pull this up about shoulder height. Squeeze that shoulder blade back, pull that weight right into your armpit. We come down, down and pull. Down and pull. Good, so I'm just pulling my arm right across, like there's a table here, right across, bringing it right into my armpit, squeezing that shoulder blade again. Good job, you guys. Get that little bit of a side lunge going, so you get a little stretch in there. Good work. All right, we're gonna do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. All right, other side. So you get that side lunge, come across, right to that armpit, slide that shoulder blade back and down. I like to support right here on that other leg. Abs are pulled in. Now you get that nice stretch in that other side, plus this bending leg, getting a little bit of work. Push that heel into the floor. Nice job, you guys. Come on, we're only doing one round of these. All right, eight more. There we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and one. Right there. Nice job. All right, set that weight off to the side. If you want a little stretch for that back. Spread those shoulder blades apart, a little side to side. And then for our second round of triceps, we are going to do a um, set of dips. One set, one and done. Okay, so challenge yourself. Remember the farther your feet are away, the harder it's gonna be. As you get tired, slide those feet in closer. If you want even more challenge, put your feet up on another chair or your couch or whatever you have nearby. Um, to give yourself a little bit more challenge. So you could do these on the floor too. Make sure you keep your back close to that chair as you go down and up. All right, here we go. Keep going, keep going. Squeezing those triceps. Job, you guys, I'm inching my feet in a little bit. Come on, here we go. Burn it out right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, not too bad, not too bad. All right, get a little tricep stretch. All right, we're gonna be moving on. We are going to go to a plie squat with an upright row, and then we are going to pair that with um, bridges on here. So keep your chair close. I'm going to just slide mine back a little bit so that I can just get right on it. There we go. All right. So we got lots of shoulders in this this one today. So if your shoulders are feeling tired. Then just take a rest here. Just keep your the weights down at your side or in front or up on your shoulders. 
Otherwise, we're going to do our big plie squat. We're going to take it down, upright row. So down, feet are nice and wide, knees are in line with your toes. Push those heels into the floor. Remember, you've got strings tied to those elbows. Weights just coming just about chest height, maybe just above, not up to your chin though. Good. So if your shoulders are getting tired, you could just work that plie squad. Push those heels into the floor. Really try to sit into it. It's a really good stretch too. Eight, seven, six, squeeze those glutes. Push those heels into the floor. Four, three, two, one, hold it down here, little pulse, little pulse, right here, come on, you got it, you got it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, right there, all right, set those weights down, we're going to just slide right to the floor, so either putting your feet up on your bench, your chair, whatever you are using today, or you can just put them right on the floor too. So that works. So laying back, feet are on that seat, and you're gonna press up, squeezing those glutes, engaging those hamstrings, and then lower down. Press up and down. Good job, you guys. Really try to press those heels into that chair or bench. Get those hamstrings involved. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Good job, you guys. Come on, keep working. If your chair starts to slide away, you might have to pull it in again. All right, we've got eight, seven, six, five, <laughs> four, three, two, and hold it at the top, little pulse, here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one right there nice job straighten those legs a little carefully roll it to the side and we are going to stand back up we're going to get one more set of those um plie squats upright rows we're on the home stretch you guys all right Whew. Hammies, hammies, hammies. All right, so we've got that nice wide stance again. Chest stays lifted. <sighs> Gotta figure out which way my arms are going. There we go. These weights are just a little bit big, so. <sighs> Good, push those heels into the floor. Really try to sit into it, you guys. Get that little bit of a stretch, then press. <sighs> Arms are pulled in, going at your pace. Elbows are tied, strings pulling right out to the side. All right, eight more. Eight, seven, six. Good work, you guys. Come on, five. Four, three, two, last one. Hold those weights down. Little pulse right here. Come on. Press those heels into the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
nice job. All right, set those weights off to the side so they're you're out of your way because we're not going to use them again. All right, we've got our bridges, and then we're going to finish off with a plank, side plank, and we'll be done. All right. So, starting close to your bench, because as you notice, you start to slide back where the chair moves or something. All right. So, press those heels into that bench. Really try to squeeze those hamstrings, engaging those glutes as you pr push all the way through, and then barely tapping down. Good work, you guys. Come on. Make each one count. Remember, you can do this on the floor. Also, if this isn't working for you. Good job, you guys. All right, we're going to do three pulses up. So we go one, two, three, and down. 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 Good job. Come on, this is it. One, two, three, and down. One more, just like that. One, two, eight singles. Your pace. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Nice job, you guys. All right, while we're here, grab a little hamstring stretch, and then we'll do our last plank. So pulling that leg back, flexing that foot. Let's take advantage of this position while we're here. We're nice and warm. This is a great time to stretch, you guys. Don't say you're going to do it later because you won't. So do it now while you're sweaty. Okay, cross that foot over. Reach through and pull that knee into your chest. We're still going to do that plank, but we're just taking advantage of this stretch really quick while we're here. Keep breathing. And switch sides. Start with that straight leg. Keep stretching. And cross that foot over. Pull that knee into your chest. Stretch that glute. Come on, you guys, stick with me here. Don't skip out on this part. You can handle 30 more seconds. We got this. You'll be so glad when you're all stretched out. All right, we're going to roll this now to the side. I think I'm still in the video here. All right, we're going to do a side plank, either on your elbow or if you need to go all the way up on your hand, go for that. So one, one time on each side, here we go, bring it up, pull those abs in, squeeze those glutes, try to think about just a nice solid plank all the way from your toes to your head, everything's in line, squeeze, 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 good job you guys, come on. Okay, we're going to add just a little dip here if you would like. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, 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 four, three, two, and one. Good job, you guys. All right, I'm going to flip it over. We've got one more side. This is it. And then we'll finish off with a little more stretching. Bring it up. Make sure that elbow or hand is right under that shoulder. That arm is either up straight. You can hold. Good job, you guys. Come on. Keep squeezing. Pull those abs in. Breathe. 
Good work, good work. All right, we're going to add those eight dips if you want, or just keep holding. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. All right, let's roll it over. Child's pose. We're going to just sit back. Bring those arms in front. Get a nice stretch all the way from your fingertips all the way to your tailbone. Keep breathing. Good job, you guys. Come on, hang on to that. And release. While we're down here, let's get our hip flexors. If you're like me, they're probably tight. Take a big stretch front. And then let's bring that opposite arm up. It's opening that whole side. Oblique all the way through your hip flexor. Keep breathing. Good job, you guys. Come on, hang with me. Come on, this is the best time to do it. We're all sweaty. There's not another class after this one. Switch sides. It's so easy just to turn this off right now, but stay with me. Good job. Stretching that other hip flexor and then adding that arm for that oblique stretch. A little more extension. Keep breathing. Try to sink into that stretch. Woo! And release. All right. We're going to take it into a down dog. So you're going to tuck those toes under and press those hips up to the ceiling. Pressing your chest towards your thighs. And then just bend one side, one knee. And then the other, just getting whatever little stretch right here that you need. If you like both heels pressed down, hold that. If you want to alternate. All right, we're going to walk those feet and hands together. And then I want you to just hang there just for about 10 seconds or so. You want to clasp those hands and just really let the weight of your arms and head, lengthen that spine, those hamstrings, try to straighten those legs a little bit more. Keep breathing. Good job, you guys. Hang with me. Five, four, three, two, and <laughs> one. Apparently, I need that stretch too. Bend those knees and place those hands above your knees. We'll roll it up nice and strong. Take one nice deep breath up. Clasp those hands and lean to the side. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. Inhale up. And that is it. Nice job, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. Have an awesome rest of your Saturday. And I can't wait to see you again someday soon. All right, take care, everybody.